back at it again we have one here from sjw central original link is down below make sure you guys go show them some love all right but of course we've got some more of the glorious <laughs> SJWs. But before we get into that video, all right, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button down below. And of course, share this video. Thank you to every single last one of you, one of you that have already continued to do so. And thank you to those of you that will start now. Greatly appreciate you guys. This channel does not grow without the help of you guys. All right. But with that being said, let's dive in. I'm Calvin Phillips with Campus Reform. Today we're at UC Santa Cruz talking to students about their opinions on President Trump's role in ending the Korean conflict and if they think he deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. Let's see what they have to say. Or some of Trump supporters have said that President Obama won the Nobel Prize in 2009 and they think President Trump has done more and so he deserves the award for the global peace that's been brought about as a result of the seeming end of the conflict. Do you think there's any validity to that claim? No. No. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Do you think he deserves the award? Hell no, that's a joke. Okay. Like, what has he done for peace? <laughs> okay. Yeah, nothing. No, no. He, I feel like he just thinks that he deserves many awards and that's just stupid. I think that's crap. <laughs> I don't really think so. I don't know, it's just too good of a prize for him to have credit for. Do you feel like President Obama deserved the award when he got it in 2009? Yes. And what did he do to deserve it? Oh, 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 oh b before she says anything, b before she even says anything, and I'm happy uh, that this question was asked. I guarantee you she won't have anything to say. She has no clue. Truth of the matter is, he deserved it because he was a Democrat. And of, of course, because he was black. And he agreed with what I agree with. And that's what the media has told me to say and to think. Carry on. I, was it for his education, uh, push on education, or was it for the Obamacare? Do you think uh, President Obama deserved it? Okay. I think so. He did some, he did some good, he really did a lot of good work. Like it gets undermined and stuff. Um, like what? What kind of diplomatic stuff comes to mind when you think of him winning the award? Well, <sighs> there's much to talk about. Give me some examples, Bob. Nothing pops up in my head right now. Obama? I don't know. I mean, I'm not even sure what he did to get the award. Okay. Like, well, there it is. The first chick had something to say, at least. She didn't sit there and say, oh, 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 oh. but these guys, I mean, it, it, it's inevitable, okay? Of course, you're going to have your outliers like the first chick, but I've said this time and time again. And, and this guy, actually, he said it perfectly. He was like, there, there, there's so much to talk about, but uh, I, I can't think of anything now. How many times have we heard that in these videos? Does that even make sense? There's so many things, but I can't even think of one. To be honest, like... Do you think President Obama deserved the award when he won? Yeah, he does. Of course. I feel like he actually wanted to make change instead of just sitting around. Um, like what changed in your mind? I don't know. <laughs> Um, I don't have to look at that more. I would be really frustrated if he got a Nobel Peace Prize. Okay. I feel like Obama was a really great diplomat, and Trump has really staked a career on not doing that. Got it. And what do you think Obama did to deserve it in 2009? I mean, I'm forgetting exactly what the political events were at the time. I was in high school back right. then, and so, but... Oh, but, but, you, but you knew that he deserved it, right, though? Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think if Obama won it, why wouldn't he win it, right? Because I don't know why Obama won it. Even You know, I like Obama, but I don't think there's any real legitimate reason why he should have won it. Look, do you think the tough talk worked? He, he talked tough, and then within a year of his presidency, the Korean War is over. Not a lot of people like getting talked to like that, you know. Uh, it seemed to work, though. I mean, the conflict ending. I, I don't know. So we, we have no idea what they're thinking, like, to be honest. Do you think that strong rhetoric played any role in North Korea coming to the table and denuclearizing? Um, no. I wouldn't say so. Oh, I think that. Of course, of course. The black guy gets all the credit for who knows what. <laughs> but the orange man, orange man bad, he gets zero credit for anything. He was the worst person 
president ever to exist. But I couldn't tell you why. For him to take credit is really just posturing okay. on his part. Hi, are you a fan of Bernie Sanders? Yeah, I am. What do you like about him? Um, that he's a socialist. <laughs> why is socialism good? Are you like, uh, <laughs> um, I don't really want to do this. What is this for? Um, we're asking people why they like Bernie Sanders. For InfoWars. <laughs> yes, we are InfoWars. Um, I think he has a lot of integrity. I like his value system. I like what he stands for. Exactly what values? Um, eating the rich. Eating the rich. Well, are you aware that Bernie Sanders lives in $3 million homes? Uh, no, I was not aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> All of these politicians who rag on the rich are actually rich themselves. <laughs> like, has anybody ever publicly, like on a big stage, called out Nancy? She's worth like over a hundred million dollars. I'm sorry, but you don't just get that, you know. I, I don't I don't know what her actual salary is, but I think it's like sub three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. I don't think you go from making no, we'll 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 say we'll say four hundred thousand dollars a year. I don't even think her salary is that high, but we'll say four hundred thousand. I don't know how you go from four hundred thousand to over a hundred and fifty million. Like that's a huge jump. Huge jump. You know, like mm, five, ten, maybe fifteen million. All right, you know, it's it's possible a hundred and something million. I don't know, man. I don't know. And are you aware? I'm gonna ask you something. Um, so, if they're about eating the rich, why do you think so many of the one percent support socialism? Is that true? It's very true. Like who? Well, for example, you know Venezuela, right? Heard of it. A majority of the country is currently eating rats while their politicians are drinking champagne on a daily basis. Uh, uh, oh, um, oh, when the facts come out. The one percent of Venezuela. I'm talking about America. Well, in, well, I'm saying since if Bernie Sanders were president, right, and he wanted to bring the same ideas as social for socialism into this country. Don't, do you think that we would benefit? Yeah, no. yeah. But I just told you Venezuela is eating rats. But I just want people to have health care, honey. I don't want, like... Well, <laughs> Same thing Hugo Chavez. Oh, my God. You people have, like, worms in your brain, honestly. I mean, you're the one who can't answer the question. What question? The question is why you support socialism. You can have, you can have health care without socialism. I want people to have free health care. Why free? It's not free. Goodness gracious, goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Why do people keep throwing out this free thing? It's not free. <laughs> you are paying for it. They're taking your money and basically just giving it back to you. <laughs> oh, man. Sheesh, Louise. I don't know. I don't know why, but that kind of frustrates me when people say that. Well, I want free. It's not free. You're still paying for it. I want free tuition. It's not free. Nothing in life is free. Sheesh, Louise. This, 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 this word free, it shouldn't even exist. Because nothing is free. Somebody's paying for it somewhere. It may not be you. It may not even be the person standing next to you. It may not even be the person that's handing you whatever it is that's supposedly free. But somebody's bearing the cost for it. Somewhere. Jeez Louise, I just don't understand these folks. Pays for it. Why would the government pay for it? Because I think everyone has a right to have health care. Well, at one high school in New Jersey, girls once had to try out for the cheerleading team, but one mother complained after her daughter didn't make it, so school officials ordered the team to accept everyone without tryouts, setting a brand new precedent that we're sure will become common nationwide. That's why we what want to talk to Kathy Aru, our liberal Sherpa, to understand the outlines of this new worldview. Kathy, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you. So, I mean, it goes without saying that you're in, in for this, of course. Yes. But if we take this principle and expand it, 
Mm -hmm. You start asking questions like, well, why should airline pilots have to know how to fly airplanes? Isn't it discriminatory to prevent people who don't know how to fly from flying planes? I, do, I don't think trying out That's for a, a cheerleading point. team is the same as flying an airplane. It's a skill-based uh, profession. So if you know how to fly an airplane, by all means, you should fly an airplane. But I don't think cheerleading is the same as flying an Shh, airplane. But yes, it is. There was a set of standards, and people couldn't join the team if they couldn't cheer correctly. Right, I mean, but maybe these people who couldn't join the team then get confident cheerleaders. They become confident cheerleaders. They didn't even know they could be great cheerleaders. And then right. they go on to become wonderful pilots because they look back and they were great cheerleaders. So it gives them that self-esteem to move on in life and become better people. So well, thank I, I agree with that. See, now you're winning me over. Thank goodness so, for these inclusive programs. Well, but why don't we adopt these same inclusive standards at Harvard? And Gale and Princeton. I mean, why are yeah. we keeping people out because they can't read or have low SAT scores? It doesn't that hurt their self-esteem? It's a shame. Yeah, SATs have been proven to be false. Uh, there are no indication of how people will do after a few years of college. So throw out the test, absolutely, because if people are given a chance, they do excel. So we should allow more diversity, more variety in our schools, in our sports. Yes. Well yeah. I love this. Oh, Isn't good. it also a blow to your self-esteem if, say, you have a diagnosed mental illness and you can't buy a firearm? Why should schizophrenia get in the way of gun ownership? Everyone well, else can buy one, but you can't because you're diagnosed mentally ill. Isn't that discriminatory? Well, I think that would hurt other people, so I'm not for any oh. program that would hurt other people, but programs that allow people to excel and become better people, then there's nothing wrong with that. But having a mental illness and then having a firearm, which, I mean, anyone having a firearm is okay. probably not a good idea in you're general. You're totally right. You're totally I'm going to let you right. finish. I'm going to let you agree. finish. If you're a narcoleptic, why shouldn't you be a school bus driver? You would probably hurting others. Um, and yeah, but I don't notice. Notice, she keeps coming back to the hurting others thing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let them finish though. I'm gonna let them finish. Right. Imagine That's what you have this to... Board of Education's after. I think they're after helping those who would be excluded because they didn't take gymnastics when they were six or seven, like other children. I wish, I children. wish we had more time because I have many more examples for you, Kathy Rue, but we don't. Okay. Great to see you. So, as I pointed out, she kept going back to the hurting others thing, right? And she said that cheerleading was different well last time i checked cheerleaders get tossed in the air right if you don't know how to land properly you know tuck yourself or whatever the cheerleaders do to to be caught guess what could happen you could hurt not only yourself but you could hurt others you could kick someone in the face or kick someone in the forehead and severely injure them you know it, this is a human body falling from 20 feet in the air if you don't do it properly you could hurt someone and according to her if you can hurt others it should not be allowed but also if you aren't trained in properly catching folks if you just aren't good at it or not strong enough to do it why should you be put in that place position to try to catch a cheerleader a body falling from the sky I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I mean, she said hurting others. So, I mean, if you're not catching that person, well, it's really going to hurt that other person if you don't catch them. That ain't going to feel good. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you that. So, uh, according to her standards, uh, everyone shouldn't be allowed to be cheerleaders. But, hey, this is, this is the uh, society that we have allowed. You know, the society of everyone gets a participation trophy. <laughs> I'm sorry, and this this might sound cruel, but I will never, ever allow my kids to accept a participation trophy. You win or you lose. That's just me. I I I I, I don't believe in participation trophies it's all right if you lose that's okay it's not the end of the world you go back and if the, if the, if that's a sport or whatever it is that you truly want to be in you go back you assess how you can get better and then you put in the work to actually get better we don't need you know hey, oh well you participated here 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 you go darling like nah nah i lost i lost let me soak in it i got some thinking to do some processing to do it's all right. It's not the end of the world.
But of course, we want to like spoon feed everyone. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do, do, do y'all agree? Am, am I crazy in my thinking? Y'all let me know. Maybe I'm just a horrible parent. I don't know. I don't know. It is. I, I guess it is what it is, huh? Y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.